My longevity bleeds on calendars. Painting faces on Fridays, I have already forgotten your smile. Pinned against your cheeks, smeared by the winter, spent face to face with anticipation. For the months ahead of us, already climbing at the back of our minds, if wrinkles could tell time, I swore you were immortal. As if I, at least through my eyes, the arc of your spine ran like an endless stream for my fingers to skip rocks and throw stones at the moon because I wished the night were infinite. We'd sprawl against a bedside, find a fail safe beneath the sheets to hide from the wolves who linger at the edge of the wo woods, awaiting our awful ambition for new and fragile things. Like a promise made on a whim that this would last forever, reality sets in, that we are still children. Stuck in a sandbox, making castles out of wishes, cigarette smoke and blunts, playing freeze tag with our hearts, though we'd never forget our favorite game. We'd play hide and seek with our bellies, stomaching our problems like we could control our digestive system, but I'll keep this poem from scientific. Lies for the poet who realized your eyelids look less like cells and more like a dam holding back a river from flooding your empty plains, always changing face. Despite the season, you're, look, you're lurking in the woods, making castles out of branches, ankles burrowed in the sand, reality never set in. I've grown tired searching through the lonesome winters. I, for one, chose the summer. Its radiated dawn reminded me new beginnings revolved around a 24-hour clock. Under my watch, I'd lose track of time, trying to stitch, to, trying to stitch my days together. I've already forgotten your smile. A portrait from my Fridays left me evidence to trace back home and deliver me from sleep and nostalgic dreams. The fantasy ends in distance. <laughs>